I have an idea. Let's add to the series I started on my Stormcast army. Welcome back again, my friends. Let's put up a good defense. In this uh, series part 1.5 on my Stormcast army, I wanted to pull the shield design out and make its own, make a separate video on that subject. This is the thing I get the most questions about, so off the bat people ask me how I got the design off the shield. Um, simple, just use an X-Acto, some sandpaper, maybe your clippers on some bigger pieces, file it all flat because this shield provides a nice open surface to kind of work some designs, a uh, relatively large area to fit something into. But yeah, I wanted to lay this part out in video form. Um, I use this design on my Liberators, my Sequitors, and as yet unknown troops. So why not make its own little feature? Let's get into it. Let's take a look at this shield. You can see I'm starting things off by just laying down a nice half tone got a base of Vallejo buff laid in place and then just some pure black on the other side. So I'll add another coat to the Vallejo buff. Let's grab a bit of white, make a deep gray, mixing this black and white together, and generally just brighten up the upper area of the shield. Kind of drag this downwards like so. Now in that ivory area, we'll lay down another pass of Vallejo buff, and then we'll grab some Guncore brown, just sweep it in towards the bottom, just roughly wet blending these two together. I have more details to add freehand wise, but still just kind of getting the canvas set up. Now we'll sweep a little black. A lower portion of the shield there. All right, break down to a finer brush and we'll grab some Vallejo buff and now about and we'll start laying down some line work. So this first line is a very <clears throat> slight diagonal curve leading upwards second line horizontal just like so now let's add a vertical line going up about that far create kind of an oblong uh, triangle down here a little dog tooth shape and a second vertical line. So there's the basic skeletal structure of my design. Let's go ahead and just repeat the process equal and opposite but this time laying down a black design with the design roughly carved in not everything is perfectly flat and straight I can go in with uh, the corresponding color sharpen things out, make them a little more straight and level. And we'll lay another coat of buff down in this upper claw. So there's our basic freehand design. Let's start adding a little bit of action, a little bit more dimension to it. So we'll take Vallejo buff, add a bit of white to it, and I'll concentrate on this kind of upper center area of the shield, blending that up a little bit brighter. We'll grab some Vallejo buff, throw it into this mid-tone zone. It's okay if I happen to lose a bit of the freehand design. Not a big deal. I can always come back and recover it. Look, I'll sweep over it right now just to make sure everything is nice and uniform and smooth. Gotta build that gradient up a bit. do a similar treatment with the gray on the other side making it a little bit brighter just like so 
Give me a concentrated on the upper center portion of the shield. And let's brighten up that highlight right up here, making this even lighter and brighter, it's a little bit smoother. These don't have to be perfect, it's just for a tabletop army. So a little roughness, a few brush strokes, I'm okay. Let's add a little gun core brown to the Vallejo buff, and just to account a little bit for this kind of overhanging lip on the shield, I'll sweep a shadow in up top. Have to bring some of this highlight color in again, just blend it out so it looks smooth. While the white area is drying, I can sharpen up the gray once again. Quickly go back, recover our design a little bit. And glazing one more pass of Guncore Brown shadows with the lower face of this shield. That brighter area should be dry by now, so one more coat, and I think that will polish it off. And just as we move a step down, let's highlight this area as well. Not too bad. One more Guncore Brown Shadow Pass. Okay, let's let this settle down and dry for a moment. And now no shield is complete without representing that it has been blocking the blows and protecting its bearer. Bring some indentations and scrapes across the face of this shield. It's laid in with black at first. You don't need to get too crazy. That'll do. Just a few uh, deep scrapes. I'll mix up a nice light gray just like so. And wherever I can fit my brush into these gaps, lay down a little exposed, unpolished metal. Now with a few uh, minor scuffs and dents in place, let's go in with a white and Vallejo mixture, Vallejo buff, and just underline these scrapes and dents. Add a few superficial scratches here and there. Maybe uh, brighten up the center of the shield one more time. Have to go with a lighter gray and try to <laughs> underline the uh, gray, the black indentation on the deep gray with the gray battle damage in the middle. Here we are again, just painting various shades of gray. I'll just drop a quick edge highlight, a few scrapes and scratches. will be all good. I'll maybe add an area where the black has been peeled away. Let's have a little chip taken out of some of the paint. Assuming this shield was first painted with this ivory tan tone and then the black design was laid on top of that like any wise painter would do. In the Mortal Realms we are aware that Darker colors dominate lighter colors much more easily. So just a few little chips. Let's brighten this up one more time. So you can see a little bit of extra effort in on the shields, but this gives me an area to kind of present a cool design, a nice flat space to work in, so why not take that little feature and make my tabletop army look a little extra nice? Shield of Honor, Circle of Hands, Rainbow Demon, pick up your heart and run. I uh, created this design on my own, and I hope that this serves to inform you to create your own tantalizing designs at home. You can copy mine. I uh, actually kind of encourage this, because as I see it, if other people copy my color scheme, they're adding to my army. My power grows, and it grows across the world. And that is in part a big thank you 
to you for your support, for enjoying these videos, coming along with me on the journey. So many thanks in that regard. And until the next time comes around, remember, there's a whole universe of outer worlds to conquer, discover, and colorize. And after we have painted this planet, we will only ascend to the stars. Let's paint the universe.